last year during Ramadan when we went to refugee camp. I remember a girl around 17 years old. We were with my wife in a hospital tent in refugee camp. And she escaped from Syria, a country of turmoil. After a bombardment, and her leg, one of her legs was amputated, amputed and she lost her leg. Her, you can see, in, you could see in her face, all the bad memories of all Syrian people. A young girl, a beautiful young girl, like our daughters, who had dreams three, four years ago, did not only lose those dreams, but did lose her leg and her, her happiness. She was asking for only for a uh, technical leg from us and uh, orthopedic leg. And we, we helped and we will continue to help. Now, two year, three days ago, a photograph has affected all of us deeply. Islands, uh, a three years old girl, uh, boy. You could imagine, we didn't see, but we could just imagine what was the last minutes of the mother of that boy. I am sure she tried to save her uh, sons, Galip and Aylan. I am sure she did everything in the middle of waters just to rescue her children. I spoke together with my wife to Abdullah al-Kurdi, his father, who came, who escaped from Syria as a family and with our help, he turned back, returned back to Syria as an individual with the dead bodies of his family. Who is responsible for this? Only those people who escaped from Syria. Today in Europe, in many places, they are being seen as if they are criminals who had to go back to a hell rather than migrate to the prosperous heaven of Europe. I am sure for all Syrian people, the real heaven is their own country, their home. They wouldn't leave their country if they were not forced to do so. They wouldn't go to Aegean Sea to go to Europe if they were not being pushed and oppressed by a terrorist regime and by a terrorist group. You could see, if you go from here to Syrian refugee camps, you can see the destiny of Syria in the face of women. Only women can understand what is the price of a war. Usually nobody creates heroes out from those women. They, we still think if you, somebody uh, imagine a heroic human being, usually it is a man. In fact, the real heroes of the history are women who courageously pay the price of the decisions being taken by, uh, by men. And we are grateful to all those women who carried this burden on behalf of all humanity. Another phase, this year in Ramadan, I visited a house for iftar in Ankara, a refugee house who escaped from Tel Afer, from Iraq. Again, a lady carrying all the burden of Iraq was hosting three, ch three families, around 15 or 20 people in a small house. Every day she was responsible to prepare dinner for those families with a small amount of uh, uh, money. She is carrying all the mistakes being committed in Iraq. Lastly, in July, we were in Serebrenica for the 20th commemoration of Serebrenica event. After the ceremony, an old lady with, uh, uh, was uh, shout, uh, raising her voice to me, saying, Ahmed Bey, Ahmed Bey, in Bosniak way of Turkish. She didn't know Turkish. I looked at her face, around 80 years old. She said that she's grateful to Turkey 
because of receiving all the refugees from Bosnia during the war. And she said that if Turkey is strong, we are safe here. If you are weak, we are, we, we are hopeless. This is really painful. In such a happy occasion, I, didn't, I wouldn't make you upset. Uh, but we should not forget that women should not be just the affected object of history, but women should be the leading power and the leading subject of the history.